most of you aren't subscribed. Make sure to subscribe, as it helps out the channel. Without further ado, the next couple days, Kelvin and Clotho begin grinding quest, leveling up several times with the help of his double growth rate skill, granting him double skill points that can be used later on. After a while, Kelvin had accumulated 100 skill points, choosing to learn the skill concealment, a rank D ability, which can be used to keep a low profile moving forward. After completing 10 quests consecutively, Kelvin heads back to the guild greeting Ainge who congratulates Kelvin's promotion to rank E. Seeing Kelvin rank up so fast, she admits that she feared that Kelvin would die without support from a party. But Kelvin knows that he can't party up with other adventurers, since his skills as a summoner would be revealed. Hearing some adventurers off to the side grow jealous of Kelvin's speedy rank up, Ainge asks Kelvin if he is secretly a high-ranking noble, but Kelvin states that he can't speak of his past because things are complicated. Apologizing for prying, Ainge asks if Kelvin will be grinding for rank D, worried that Kelvin may be overworking. But Kelvin reassures Ainge that he can easily just run away, if he encounters anything dangerous. Seeing Kelvin so energetic, Ainge recommends Kelvin get new gear, having been only using his wooden rod this entire time. Accepting Ainge's advice, Kelvin asks if there are any D-rank quests Ainge recommends, but before Ainge can offer up any options, someone butts in. Asking if Kelvin would like to take down a Black Ghost Knight, Casual appears from nowhere having just returned from a C-rank quest involving Lizardmen. Turning to Kelvin, Cashel congratulates Kelvin for reaching rank E so fast, but Kelvin asks who Cashel is. Apologizing for being so abrupt, Cashel introduces himself as a rank D adventurer, but as everyone listens into their conversation, other adventurers begin whispering that Cashel is actually strong enough to be a B-rank adventurer, and that Cashel loves crushing newbies that may threaten him in the future. Hearing the other adventurers spoiling his intentions, Cashel glares at the adventurers, silencing them in an instant. Turning back to Kelvin, Cashel offers Kelvin to join his party, stating that they'll be taking on the Black Ghost Knight. Hearing this, Ainge butts in stating that the Black Ghost Knight is a rank D quest, but it's actually harder than a rank D quest. Seeing Ainge all worked up, Cashel says he'll be there with his party to support Kelvin, forcing Ainge to back down for now. Seeing Ainge so uncomfortable, Kelvin declines Cashel's offer, but Cashel continues to persuade Kelvin to join. Knowing that something is off about Cashel, Kelvin scans Cashel's stats, surprised that Cashel is just as strong as Clotho. On top of that, Cashel has some dangerous abilities, but most importantly, he has been given the title murderer. Knowing that Cashel won't let Kelvin leave without joining him, Kelvin offers an alternative plan suggesting that they both compete to see who can slay the ghost knight first. Seeing Kelvin's cocky attitude, Cashel smirks, stating that he'll be taking on the ghost knight with his party, but Kelvin says it's fine, telling Cashel he'll be going solo. As Cashel leaves, Kelvin deduces that Cashel plans to allow Kelvin to reach the ghost knight first, then either during or after the battle, will Cashel and his party show up and make their move. Wondering who could be in Cashel's party, the receptionist along with Ainge, all ask that Kelvin be careful. Following Cashel, we see him enter an alley where he meets up with Gimel, one of his party members, who has a rank C appraising eye. Gimel reveals that he had tried to scan Kelvin's stats, but was blocked out by Kelvin's concealment skill, reasoning that Kelvin is no pushover since his concealment skill is rank C or stronger. Interrupting another of Cashel's party members, Raj asks if he can pummel Kelvin, just like how he did to other adventurers, but Kelvin asks that Raj hold back for now, commending Kelvin for being so brave as to challenge their party. That evening, Cashel and his members make it to the castle of the Ghost Knight, shocked to see that all the undeads guarding the castle have been slaughtered. Just then Kelvin appears, greeting Cashel and his party, all whilst holding a magic staff. Seeing Kelvin's items, Cashel and his party members deduce that Kelvin is of the mage class, wondering if Kelvin needed help defeating the Ghost Knight boss. Correcting them, Kelvin states that he can handle the boss on his own, revealing that he knows Cashel and his party are up to no good. With Cashel and his members now on guard, they demand to know if Kelvin is a bounty hunter, accidentally revealing that Raj and Gimel both have bounties for their capture. Now with a reason to capture everyone, Kelvin starts off by taunting Raj, prompting Raj to charge at Kelvin. Before Raj can reach Kelvin, he is caught in Kelvin's mud trap, 
which permanently binds Raj on the spot. Shocked that he was unable to sense Kelvin's traps, Gimmel begins to freak out, running away as he senses something off with Kelvin. Not willing to allow Gimmel to escape, Kelvin summons Clotho, who has blocked Gimmel's escape route, revealing his new transformed form. As Clotho chases Gimmel back into the room with the others, we flash back to several days ago, when Kelvin and Clotho were fighting some creatures. Upon killing the creatures, Clotho started acting strange, suddenly evolving into a slime Bloodonia, a creature classified to have a fraction of the Demon King's strength. Catching and slamming Gimmel against a wall, which makes Kelvin scan Gimmel's stats, noting how Gimmel had low endurance. With one member down, Raj attempts to take on Clotho himself, but is easily restrained by Clotho. Rushing in close to strike Kelvin, Cashel grips his blade, but sadly is easily overpowered by Kelvin. Having interrogated them, Kelvin learns that Cashel and his party had resorted to hunting new adventures as a way to level up fast, instead of fighting monsters. Tying the three up, and looting them, Kelvin finally heads into the boss room. Upon entering the boss room, Kelvin spots the ghost knight standing in the middle of the room. Scanning the ghost knight's stats, Kelvin notes the ghost knight's is level 53 and that he has a name. Calling out to the ghost knight, Kelvin asks to form a contract with it, only to be surprised when the ghost knight offers to have a chat. The ghost knight says that he used to be a human, serving his country as a knight captain, but has died mysteriously. The ghost knight believes that he has unfinished business in this world, explaining his cursed form. As the ghost knight rambles on and on about his past life, Kelvin realizes that the ghost knight is just a normal old man, but snaps out of it, asking once again if the ghost knight would like to form a contract. Pondering for a bit, the ghost knight is not opposed to it, since his king and the country he served no longer exists, but he and Kelvin are both curious how strong each other are. Officially introducing himself as Gerald, the ghost knight readies his sword, prompting Kelvin and Clotho to initiate Gerald. Using Clotho to restrain Gerald, Kelvin hits Gerald with a spell, but is not surprised when it doesn't leave a mark. Retaliating, Gerald begins slicing the air, sending projectiles in Kelvin's direction. Knowing that he should end this quickly, Kelvin casts a gravity spell, pressing Kelvin into the floor, but as Gerald begins fighting against the weight of the spell, he suddenly remembers things from his past life. Flashing back, Alcarl was a small country known for its farmland, where Gerald called home. One day, an elf by the name of Gildora, visited their country demanding that their country fall under the elven kingdom. When the king refused, their country became cursed, leading hundreds to fall ill, including Gerald's daughter and wife. When the king himself had passed, Gerald had no choice but to leave town, mindlessly seeking for a way to avenge the death of his home and family. With all these memories returning to Gerald, he suddenly gains a burst of energy, breaking free from Kelvin's gravity spell, only to lunge forward. Before Gerald can land a fatal strike, Kelvin has Clotho intercept, blasting Gerald with a powerful beam, ending the duel. The next day, Kelvin submits a piece of Gerald's armor as proof of slaying the Ghost Knight, impressing everyone in the guild. On top of that, Everyone had learned of Cashel and his party's capture, thanking Kelvin for putting them behind bars. Chatting privately with Ainge, she is happy to see that Kelvin is alright, telling Kelvin that since the Ghost Knight quest was technically a special quest, his rank will be increased. As Kelvin heads up the stairs, it's revealed that Gerald has officially become one of Kelvin's summons, leaving seven more slots for possible summons. As Kelvin turns a corner, he is suddenly greeted by the guild master, having been waiting for Kelvin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and comment.